Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-410. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures SCP-410 is currently held at Site-23, Entomology Lab-14, Zeta, and maintained in a 1 meter cubed, transparent acrylic glass container. The top of the container is perforated with 33 one millimeter holes to allow for ventilation, and features a small hinged lockable hatch in its center measuring 5 by 5 centimeters. The hatch utilizes a simple cylinder lock which is to be re-keyed every three months. The hatch is to remain locked unless SCP-410 is actively being fed or constituent members of SCP-410 are being removed for or returned from research applications. Every 24 hours, a visual inspection and inventory of SCP-410 and its constituent members is to be performed and logged according to Level 4 archival standards by designated observational staff. Any increases or decreases in the number of constituent members of SCP-410 should be reported to the senior researcher on duty immediately. Every 12 hours, a document containing no fewer than 5,000 words in any language but possessing a minimum syntactical, orthographical, and or grammatical error ratio of 1% roughly 50 errors in every 5,000 words, is to be placed inside the container. The document should be removed after one hour. Reviewed by a staff linguist with a speciality in the language the document was composed in and subsequently filed in the SCP-410 feeding archive. Food documents should be composed specifically for the purpose of sustaining the SCP-410 colony. No existing archival materials or official SCP records should be given to the entire SCP-410 colony under any circumstances. A single individual from the 14-member colony that comprises SCP-410 may be removed for research and functional application for a single two-hour activity period daily with approval from the senior researcher on duty. No more than four members of the colony are to be removed at any given time. Transport of a single SCP-410 colony member should be facilitated by no fewer than two Class II entomology staff using only an approved SCP-410 transport module to do so. The current SCP-410 transport modules are 20 cm cubed, transparent acrylic glass containers perforated with 12 one mm ventilation holes and each featuring a hinged lid equipped with a simple latch. Description SCP-410 is a colony of 14 individual beetles designated Scarabaeus scripter by staff coleopterist Dr. Langstrom, each measuring approximately 5 cm and possessing a carapace color variation from light blue to deep emerald green. A visual examination reveals nothing distinctive from other members of the genus Scarabaeus with regards to their appearance, number of legs, wings, eyes, etc. Dissection of a single member of the colony by a trained coleopterist showed no discernible anomalies in internal morphology, with the exception of a small additional organ designated the scripter GAN by Dr. Langstrom, capable of producing a variety of fluids, both caustic and inert. It is worth noting that following the death and dissection of this member of the colony, a replacement beetle larva was seen 14 days later and grew to full maturity within one month. Members of SCP-410 appear to subsist entirely on inscribed language, more specifically on syntactical, orthographical, and grammatical errors found in any form of writing physically inscribed on any surface by any currently available method. SCP-410 has no effect on electronic displays or digitized data. Consumed writing disappears from the surface of whatever material it has been inscribed upon. Between 18 and 22 minutes following a feeding, SCP-410 will excrete corrected writing, inscribing it by unknown means, back upon the surface from which the errors were consumed. To date, all corrections made by SCP-410 have been evaluated as 100% accurate by both staff and independent orthographers 
and linguists. Individually, members of SCP-410 each seem to be able to consume and correct an approximate maximum of 25,000 characters worth of errors daily, and appear healthy and active with as few as five. Lack of sustenance for a period in excess of one day results in increasing lethargy until SCP-410 becomes completely inert, entering an apparent state of hibernation. SCP-410 can be roused from this state with a minimum of 50 errors placed within its proximity. In groups of three or more, SCP-410 will not only correct grammatical and orthographic errors, but begin to alter the style of the original text slightly often using a somewhat expanded vocabulary and incorporating more complex narrative methods. When the entire colony is applied to a single document, all linguistic errors are corrected and the document is perfected in clarity, style, word choice, and rhetorical technique to such an extent that the original author's voice is nearly non-existent. Although the central thesis of a document always remains, the arguments supporting it may be vastly more complex or compelling in the case of research writing. In the case of basic lists of short statements or simple observational reports, enhanced correction may be in the form of layout alterations to provide greater clarity. See archival files 410A442 through 410 a59 8886 for examples of editing there appear to be few limitations of the languages or materials that scp-410 can interpret and harvest sustenance from hieroglyphs from the 31st century bce narmer palette were successfully corrected by scp-410 just as easily as errors created in the modern constructed language esperanto excreted corrections match the original colors method and medium of the errors with near-perfect accuracy. Graphites, inks, engravings, acid etchings, and high-energy laser inscriptions have all been successfully replicated in appearance by SCP-410's corrections. The only anomaly found within the excreted corrections appears to be an inability to replicate aged materials. Errors inscribed in ink on a 14th century CE illuminated manuscript were ingested by SCP-410, and while corrections were excreted in a matching color, they possessed the vibrant intensity of new ink. Staff experts were easily able to spot the corrections in the manuscript visually, and spectrographic analysis confirmed that the excreted inks were modern, while the surrounding text dated from the time of the original manuscript. SCP-410 has successfully harvested error sustenance from and excreted corrections onto the following materials. Paper, cardboard, wood, ice, human skin, see Experiment 410, 7.9, granite, limestone, marble, steel, aluminum, titanium, and beta-carbon nitride. Proposed testing of SCP-410 with anomalous texts, including texts containing SCP-423, is currently pending review. Experiment 410, 7.9 One heavily tattooed Class D exposed to one constituent member of SCP-410. Class D staff member, hereafter Subject D, possessed a prison-created tattoo with the words Forever yours, baby, on her left forearm. 15 seconds. Subject D secured an emotion restricting harness and fitted with a pulse rate monitor. One constituent member of SCP 410 removed from transport unit and placed on Subject D's left arm. 49 seconds. SCP 410 begins circling the perimeter of the tattoo. 122 seconds. SCP-410 begins consuming the tattoo's error, beginning with the first extraneous E in forever. Subject D indicates an 8 on the NRS-11 pain scale. Pulse rate reaches 106. 149 seconds. SCP-410 finishes consuming the first extraneous E. It no longer appears on the subject, revealing a bare patch of slightly reddened skin. Subject D reports pain has ceased describes the pain like putting my goddamn arm in a blender. 
pulse rate 94. 224 seconds. SCP-410 finishes consuming errors in the tattoo, appears to fall asleep. Tattoo now reads, Fo ever your bab. Subject D experiences pulse rate fluctuations between 102 and 144. Reports pain ranging from between 6 and 10 on the NRS-11. Subject D requests painkillers. Request denied. 1,226 seconds. SCP-410 rouses, begins excretion and correction process. Subject D's pulse rate, 113. Reports NRS-11 rating, 3 to 4. Describes it as roughly analogous to being tattooed. 1,494 seconds. SCP-410 completes excretion and correction process. Tattoo reads, forever yours, baby with corrected lettering's colors significantly more vibrant than unedited counterparts. You know, it's weird. I heard a lot of people talking about how good it would be to have a beetle that corrected things, when really, this thing is a living clippy. You know that little paper clip in Microsoft Word that everybody hates? These beetles are the living representation of that. Do you really want these things walking around doing the real-life equivalent of, Oh, I see you're writing a letter. Um, you need any help there, bud? You need any help? Hmm? I certainly don't. Anyway, I think that about does it for today. Thank you all for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Bob, the reclusive extrovert, James Saba, Arbiter Soul, Darius Tan, Karim L. Ashmawi, Justin Day, Ophelia Gray, Thomas Morin, Curie Coma, Aaron Peck, N.J. Vojak, Dr. Crystal Spice, my archive curator Nick, Joseph Louisou, Agent Vamp, King Madding, and Dr. Proctor. Thank you all so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash thevolgan. Thank you.